Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Colourful Conversations with myself, Jazz. And actually, we have with us a, a very beautiful, talented and a lovely artist all the way from India. Her name is Sonia and she is a watercolour and gosh uh, artist. So we're going to bring her on now so we can speak to her about her art journey. Hey. Hi, Hi Sonia. Hi, welcome to our show. Thank you. Um, I'm honored to be here today. Yeah. Great. And uh, so we're going to start off uh, as, as per usual, as everyone would like to know about your art journey. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about that. Okay. Uh, so I have always been more on the creative side, never really the studio thoughts. So I would prefer being on the back bench, doodling around whatever the teacher is saying or getting bored in the lecture and doodling whatever she was doing. <laughs> So, yeah, but um, because I had that fair, my mom also always encouraged me. So every year I would learn a new art form. So during the vacations, I would learn a new art form. So I've covered at least 10 to 12 art forms. And then things kind of, you get into studies and leave all this behind. So finally, I got a chance to reconnect with art again about two years, two, two and a half years back. So, yeah, that's how it's been on and off, but it's a very important part. Of course. That's great. I mean, uh, we, as an artist, you never lose touch with your artistic side, no matter how long you leave it for, I feel. Uh, when I uh, stopped, I think I stopped for seven years before I picked up my paintbrush again. So, uh, wow. I think, I think if you have the artistic thing in you, you, you can never let it go, right? Yeah, it, it's it's in our blood then eventually. <laughs> that's it. That's it. It's a way of coming back to you. True, true. So, Sonia, what what is important to you as an artist? Well, as an artist, it is important for me to be inspired, um, for it to create happiness, and actually not just happiness. Something that I'm feeling to be able to put that up in uh, paints and colors so that it connects with somebody and it kind of becomes their companion. That's, that's really true. That's, that's very that's well true. And, and uh, do you uh, conduct workshops? And if somebody wants to enroll, how would they want to join? So uh, up till now, I've had only one. I, um, I did a mandala workshop. And uh, I do those through recorded links because it's not possible for me to give uh, live workshops, uh, as in whatever, online live workshops. So I do them with pre-recorded links. And then I have uh, like a Q&A session every day with the participants. So if anybody has to get in touch with me, they get in touch with me through DM. And then whenever I am hosting a workshop, I just let them know. That's good. I guess that's the I'll, that's I'll, the way to go. <laughs> I'll stop you here. I just want to know with respect to when it comes to pre-recorded, like, like because I also conduct, and I actually have a lot of people who come and say, like, no, we would still want a live one. Like, pre-recorded is not something like, you know, it doesn't feel real. And it's something like, you know, huh. So, I mean, do you have, have, have you faced these kind of things as well? Like people saying and not registering because of that, you know? Um, honestly, no, not up till now, because okay. it kind of gives them the uh, opportunity to do it at their own pace and watch it however many times. And then, like I said, I do have a Q&A &A session Correct. with them every day. Correct. So if it's a four day workshop, I have like every day I have a Q&A session with them, which is about an hour's time. So it can, of course, go in for longer. I give them as much time as they need, but say about an hour's time. Okay. Usually, yeah. yeah. So what is your favorite art form? What do you love painting or drawing or doodling? Painting, of course. <laughs> doodling, so, went, doodling went along, like I said, with school books because that's mm -hmm. all we could do at that time. But yeah, painting, of course, like I said. As in colors. painting, what, would, what do you like painting? Do you like painting landscapes, uh, uh, floral, seascape? So, uh, Mostly, I connect with animals because uh, the eyes, somehow I do manage to put a life into the eyes and 
I feel that the eyes speak, but uh, it also comes and goes. Like right now, I'm doing landscapes, and I never thought I would do landscapes. Mm-hmm. So whatever connects with me uh, in a certain period in my mindset. Mm-hmm. So uh, currently, I'm doing landscapes, but uh, if given time and like we've spoken about the instagram algorithm the dear algorithm if it gives us time to um, uh what do you say um make your masterpieces as per your own pace i would love to do animals but landscapes also give me a lot of peace and joy so it's more to do with what gives me peace and joy at that time i re- i really loved your last uh, last two that you po- posted on instagram I- it's so detailed and and you have so much patience because there's a lot of green in that uh yeah. painting but you it's so beautifully done thank you so much there are actually like different kinds and shades of green in that and they yeah. have created like the depth and it's just so nice it's, mm-hmm. it's a beautiful shade to work with it's a really beautiful <laughs> shade to work with like i said it gives you so much calm you, and serenity you're that, actually the first one who i've seen work so much with green Mm-hmm. Yeah. that color green it used to be blues before this <laughs> so like blue in a way i think is very common blue uh, yellow and red amongst artists but doing greens i i've rarely because see eventually green is something that you connect only with plants like you know greenery and plants and mm-hmm. everything else you are like yeah it can go in this also it can go in a landscape it can go in a galaxy it can go in anything like all other colors so right. green yeah and like recently your page are like wow like and, and different shades and different depths to those colors you've given it's too good and gosh is what you've worked with right in these yes yeah. i recently moved to gosh and i honestly don't regret it but like there are things that you start doing and you were like why didn't i do this earlier <laughs> <laughs> what was missing why did i do this earlier so it's been like that with gosh like i enjoyed watercolors so I've, i uh, have been with watercolors mostly uh, in the last two years and i've only moved to gosh in the last two months so i got my mm-hmm. good supplies also in the last two months before that it was a chai was mixing white with the watercolors yeah. and just <laughs> doing a nature dog so gosh is uh, <laughs> gosh is very similar to acrylics acrylics yes yeah it's just that acrylics are very pigmented when they dry they're brighter and darker yeah. but with yeah. gosh sometimes you feel like they they're it's not as vibrant it's different shade yeah. it can be brighter mm-hmm. also it can dry uh, like in a more dull shade also yeah. that's like a matte yeah. effect that gosh gives mhm yeah. yeah yeah is there an art form or an art medium that you find difficult to do or use uh not really difficult i would say uh, but it really tests my patience is working with oils ah so i do it's one here it's the easiest <laughs> really easiest but it really tests my patience so you do one layer and you wait for 3 days ah, so if you don't true, have the patience yeah. and you end up like putting the brush over there and that gets spoiled then you again work on that so it kind of tests my patience but um, otherwise there's no medium as such which i would not want to work with This is an art form uh, like portraits or landscape of uh, not landscapes you do but anything else that you find difficult to do or uh, portraits, challenging portraits and in particular the lips region so <laughs> this question if i have to do i'll i'll ace it if it comes to this so i can probably wear the good i like the one that you did I'll but you know but, but you know what now there's the mask uh the mask season so yeah. you just put a mask on it <laughs> and it's here to stay for some time so yeah, yeah. that works yeah oh, amazing thank you so much so that's all the questions from me thank you so that's about all about sonia and now we're going to know a little word association what she thinks about particular words that we have for her the first word that comes to your mind is what you have to tell us and you have nothing more than 5 seconds and okay. <laughs> so let's go let's ask you a few words so your first word is expensive paints all of them like okay uh, i would want to buy nikkor poster colors Okay. They're supposed to be the most expensive yeah. ones. Yeah. <laughs> okay then. Natural light. 
difficult in bangalore <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay it's the same here <laughs> adding details to painting peace colorful and vibrant galaxies ah yeah. <laughs> uh, commissioned artwork touching <laughs> <laughs> and art as a profession oh um, something that you should do i don't have a word for that <laughs> and and motherhood on a daily basis challenging but fulfilling <laughs> <laughs> yes you. you did good you did amazing sonia thank you so much Thank you. a lot. Hey. Thank you so much, Sonia, for joining us today on our uh, chat with colorful conversations with Akshi and myself. And uh, it, it was nice to have an insight on your art journey. And I hope our viewers find it informative and find some kind of uh, tips and tricks on how you, you know, do your work. And also, you know, check out Sonia's Instagram page. She is a beautiful and wonderful artist. Thanks a lot, everyone, for joining us. And do subscribe, like, and comment in the comment sections below. And we all have our Instagram pages and our YouTube pages links in the yeah. description below. Do follow all of us. We, I'm going to brag on myself too. We all have amazing pages and artwork for <laughs> all of yours and tutorials as well. So see you all soon and on our next episode. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, Sonia, for joining us. Thank you, guys. Bye, Bye. girls.